Hello. In this video, we're going to discuss uh, array list as data structures and implementing stack using array list. Uh, let's start with traditional array limitations. An array is a sequential collection of similar data that can be accessed as per the index. It is the most simplest type of data structure in which the elements get stored in continuous memory location. With traditional arrays, you have to specify the size of the array when you declare it. What if you don't know the size? For example, when you read in lines from a file, likely you don't know how many lines are in the file until you get to the end. So one of the solutions here is array list. You need to import Java util library to use it uh, if you're using Java implementation. Uh, we don't have to declare the size of the array list when you make it, uh, because we can insert and remove items from any spot within the array list. Size of list will be dependent on how many elements it currently contains. This operation is slightly more costly than an array, so if array is satisfactory for use, we can use it. So this is example uh, how we can declare an array list. Uh, we will use the keyword uh, new since array list is an object. So basically, uh, importing statement uh, declare uh, Java util array list connecting to the specific library and the creation array list, for example, array list of favorite foods, new array list will create a list uh, based on object of uh, favorite foods. So what's happened when we would like to add that items to the list? Uh, we can add new items to the end of this list by using the add function, uh, using object dot add. And basically uh, in the memory, we will have array of object references uh, to uh, all, those, all of those values. So this is object-oriented model since we have a very uh, method to uh, control um, array list content. Uh, for example, we can loop through the items. Uh, we can loop through the array list and display each item. So note that array list hold objects. So when you get it out, you need to call it object uh, rather than a string. So even we have an uh, basically string uh, representation since a realist is object based we have to use object as uh, a type of elements uh, removing elements uh, with traditional arrays if you want to remove an element you need to shift every element to account for the whole in the array arrays have this uh, built-in functionality and uh, you don't need to be care about uh, shifting and removing uh, spaces between elements. For example, uh, remove elements at the index. Uh, we'll remove the item at the specify index in the list. So, for example, two, and it will remove, for example, grapes. Since we had the grapes uh, at position three, but remember that uh, array elements uh, index will start from zero. Also, we can uh, make alternative remove. We can also remove an item by specifying the item we wish to remove by uh, the value. In this case, uh, the value is uh, grapes as a string. Uh, get item form uh, list. You can get uh, access an item from the array list by using a get method and uh, obviously since we get in elements with index two, we will access the grapes and display this element. So as a release method, uh, we can find in Java doc in the following uh, website. So what is if you want to specify uh, uh, another type of uh, array ele array list elements? So notice that we uh, access an item from the array list. We got an object uh, back, not a string. Uh, so how to tell the release that we are dealing with only strings we need to type in the declaration? Uh, in the annual brackets, we uh, type a string as a specified array list type. 
and uh, when you call in constructor uh, for the structure we also specify type in angle brackets uh, without typing the array you won't be able to use the method that specified to the subclass of object that we're using so that's uh, that's what we have to remember when we create array list uh, for example, when we uh, replace the generic object with a string, uh, we would use this as a following. So since we know the base of the array list is a string, we're using string as a specific type, not a generic object. Uh, as we say, array list can be used generically with just object, or we can specify the type. So hence, uh, array list is considered a class that uses uh, generics. For example, we can use a numeric array list. So array list take objects, so you don't need to use a primitive type like int and double, but we can use integer or double uh, object version of these types, like in this example. So array list base type is integer. And then we add in elements to the uh, array list. And finally, we print in elements uh, using a generic type integer and looping through the list structure. So let's consider stack using array list. Uh, basically, uh, stack is a basic uh, data structure uh, where insertion and deletion of items takes place at one end, and, and it's called the top of the stack. So we can go to the website and make uh, and run this this experiments. So let's try to push uh, three items uh, to the stack. So the stack is empty currently. Uh, we will write uh, string value to the stack. For example, orange and press push. So what's happened in this case? So the uh, top element is. Uh, display number of elements right now and orange is uh, only the elements in the list right now so let's put the next uh, color is for example pink so push added to the stack so we have two elements and pick right now in the uh, position after orange and let's put white push so push and value white, we have a three elements right now. So what uh, pop operation will do? Pop operation will uh, delete elements on the top of the stack. So obviously orange pick white, the white right now is on the top. So if you uh, press pop, so the white elements will be uh, popped value and number of elements will be uh, decreased by one. So another pop, uh, will, will affect pink value, popped value pink, and uh, the last element will be orange. Since you press orange, the orange will be popped, and right now a stack is empty. Basically, if you're trying to pop another value, uh, that's not possible. Uh, push an empty value is also blocked for this program implementation. Uh, and basically, clear stack will uh, clear the stack if you have any numbers. Uh, Java implementation. In our example, we see implementation of the in Java uh, for the demo that, that just we uh, discuss. So we declare uh, my stack uh, class with the only private array list uh, variable list, and we do not use here generics in this case. We're using default object type, so we can add argument to array list object. That will be uh, exactly the same effect so this is method push so since object is the uh, generic type in this case we use an add method to add object o to the list uh, using pop method we uh, have to decide at what position we'll remove the object so we know the position for the uh, head object is a size minus one since we uh, started in array from zero so we get position of the object at the address get size minus one and we call in method uh, 
uh, list removed at this position. And when we pop the object, we return the object we just removed. Method pick uh, just simply return the object on the top of the array. So we can search object based on the index. Uh, we can check if the list is empty. So it's uh, true or false. If it is empty, it will be true, otherwise it's false. And we also can get a size for the list using in build method in build method for the uh, array list. And if you want to print elements into the string, we can override the toString method in the object class by simply uh, printing stack. So this is a uh, test program. So we push three elements, uh, orange, pink, white, in the same way how we did in the website demo. So then we print the stack, the size, retrieve element using pick, and trying to delete uh, three values. So then finally we're trying to delete values when stock is empty. And since we have a array index of out of back of bounds exception, we uh, uh, process this error uh, using exception handling mechanism. So please run it. And this is the result of the uh, demo using an array list for uh, stack implementation. Okay, so it was a short video uh, how to use array list and uh, stack. So we're done with this video. Thanks a lot.